preview. Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, we're gonna be doing a five match challenge. Uh, my friend Wally is gonna tell you about it. Uh, so here we go. Asalaamu Alaikum. So a five masjid challenge is when you pray each of your different salah in a different masjid. I first came up with this little game, activity, whatever you want to call it, when I was in Turkey. I noticed my first day in Turkey that there were masajid, at least a dozen, all along the same street. So I said, it would be so much fun if I could see if I could pray inside each one of them. So that's what I did. Now, my logic behind it was, number one, every masjid that you pray in is going to testify for you on the Day of Judgment. It'll tell Allah, oh Allah, he prayed inside me, forgive him. SubhanAllah. And secondly, it's a great way to explore. Okay, I mean, after all, you are getting to see a new place and a new area. Mm. So one is one of the great things about it. Okay, so see you guys now, now. So let's start our Fajr. Okay guys, we are about to go to Fajr now, still abiding by um, COVID-19 restrictions. Yes, if you're going to do this challenge, be sure to stay safe and keep everyone else safe, inshallah. The first masjid is Muhammad ibn Ibrahim al-Sheikh Jamia, which alhamdulillah is located right next to us. Yes, about two minutes away. Alhamdulillah, the Sheikh sponsored us to go on Umrah about twice. Am I right, Wally? That's right. Yeah, so very good Imam is actually our favorite mosque. That it is. Yeah, it is. That Check it is. out. Let me just. Yes. Those are the prayer mats we have to take. That's all. First one mosque. down, four to one go. One down, four to go. Inshallah. I didn't take much of the inside because I was a bit sleepy, you know, and it's our first time, but we'll get from the second mosque, okay? Inshallah. We'll see you guys around Zohar time. See you. Peace. We are running a bit late. Yes, there is. Here, we're sir. running a bit late, guys. Yeah, but we're gonna make it, okay? Don't worry, he's coming from over there. Oh, yeah. going to our second masjid. In yeah, what's the name of the masjid, Wally? Um, Al Jamia Al Hudayfi. Al Jamia Al, yeah, that. So, here's our Uber ride. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. There's a masjid. We're almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. That's our Uber driver. He's deciding. He's also going to the mosque now. Yeah? Looks like that's the way to go ahead. So. And as you can see, it's in the highway. Yep, yep here's the highway. For people traveling. Yes. This is massive. Look at the chandelier. Yeah. I need to make wudu and uh, I'll just. Uh, Take outside. Uh, very beautiful. So we've noticed here that the mimba was uh, very high and the masjid is spacious, not uh, not much decorations. You explain that, Wally? Yeah, Saudi masjids are not typically known for being well decorated. Okay. Uh, one of the things you know that many uh, Salafis say is that, that the masjid should not be very decorated, so it's not very distracting. Now, is it halal to decorate the masjid? Yes, yes it is. Okay, but is it, you know, but for the Saudis here, that's not a big uh, 
not a big concern. And usually the minbar is taller here so that, you know, more people can see, plus that it has a, uh, saves more space by going behind the mihrab. Yes. Well, Alhamdulillah, that's two down, three to go. There we go. Inshallah. So that's where we'll be going next for Asr. All right, notice taxis are green. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Uh, we've got this uh, COVID-19 uh, infection here. So all of the taxi drivers are with us. So the masjid is called Jami Abu Yusuf. It's named after the greatest student of Imam Abu Hanifa, rahimullah. The, the, the amusement park close by. So here's the amusement park. You can see there. Enter the masjid. Like what they done. Seems like uh, you no. Know. Yeah. So as you can see, the windows over there are stained glass, which is a process that is done by adding certain alloys to the glass making during the process. Again, because of that, you get these colored uh, and beautiful shapes. That was the third one, guys. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Three down, two to go. Yes, hey guys. Um. So. Who have with us here is Stray. For those who watch my channel, you will soon you know who he is. Get the hat. Uh, he has a very inquiring mind it when it comes to Dean. Also, um, he's fasted for the whole month of Ramadan. This is him. Hello, hello. Tell him where you're from. Assalamu alaikum. I'm from America, Tennessee. Yeah, the place of the cowboys. Here we go. What's the name of the next masjid, Wally? Okay. First mosque. First time in a masjid. Inshallah, may Allah grant him a Amen. Trey, quick question for you, my friend. Okay, how do you feel about going to a mosque for the first time? I'm excited. I always look look forward to uh, cultural opportunity and any chance. What do I expect to see? That's interesting. Well, obviously the prayers, but um, I'm not sure what to expect to see inside compared to a, a church in America versus a mosque here in Saudi. Feeling a bit nervous? No, 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 nervous. Uh, excited, anxious. Uh, Inshallah, we're working with our friend Trey here. All right, hopefully that's the the goal of idea to bring people and to teach people in a fun, interactive, and soft manner. Let's go, let's go. Here it is, guys. Yeah. Beautiful. We'd like to introduce you to, uh, you know, the Sahadib and Awaida Jamia. I've got a sworn enemy. <laughs> oh my god, here we go, guys. the morning prayer okay, before the dawn you do two right for the noon and afternoon prayer it's four for the sunset prayer which we are at now it's three and then the final one will be four again okay and that's just, Trey, what okay. about the bow 
that's customary in every yes. one of them? It's just like right before you start, you bow, and then you go into the kneel? Yes, okay? And thing is, you also remember, Trey, we're not bowing to anyone except for God. Okay? So Trey, tell us, how, how was your first experience inside a mosque? Oh, it was wonderful. It was beautiful. The architecture and the serenity, you can feel, you can just feel the spirituality here. Yes. So, here's a question, okay, that many people ask. Are non-Muslims allowed inside a mosque? The answer comes from the Sirah. The answer is yes. There was one companion by the name of Thumama bin Thabit. Thumama bin Thabit was a sworn enemy of Rasulullah He had vowed that if he ever came across him, he would kill him. Now, on his way to Umrah, Thumama was captured by the Muslims. He was brought to Medina and he was tied up inside the masjid of the Prophet and every day, Rasulullah would come and ask him, Ya Thumama, what would you, what do you demand, what do you expect from me? What do you demand of me? So Thumama would say, if you want ransom, I'm, I'm wealthy, I can give you whatever you want. If you show me mercy, you'll find me the most compassionate of people. But if you harm me, know that my blood will be avenged. So for three days, he was, you know, he was, you know, was kept inside that masjid. And for three days, Rasulullah would ask him the same question. And every day, he would also send him his own food. Right, so Rasulullah instead of eating his own food, was sent it to Thumama. On the third day, he told the companions, cut him loose, let him go. Okay, no ransom, no nothing. He, he's free to go. So, Thumama, instead of leaving Medina, he went, he put on new clean clothing, he took a bath, you know, prior to that, and he went back into the mosque of the Prophet Sallallahu He took the hand of Rasulullah and he said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, ashadu an la Muhammad Rasulullah. I declare there is no God but God, and then Muhammad is the final messenger of God. And he said to him, O Messenger of Allah, I just wanted to, I did not want to convert while I was tied up in there so that people would say I converted out of duress. He then asked, Ya Rasulullah, my intention before I was captured was to go to Umrah. But now that I'm a Muslim, should I still go? And Rasulullah said, Yes, your niyyah is for Umrah, so go for Umrah. And he went and made Umrah, but while he was doing it, he was the first Muslim to say the you know, to say the talbiyah as it is today, la baik Allahumma la baik, la baik Allah sharika la baik, because the the Quraysh used to add there are some partners to Allah, but Allah has no partners. And when the Quraysh heard this, he they gathered around him and they started to harass him, All right? And Thumama told him, oh, you want to play this kind of game with me? Well, my area is the region all the wheat comes from. So until the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says otherwise, I'm not going to let a single grain come to you guys. And soon enough, they felt the hunger pains and they had to go to Medina and beg the Prophet to lift the ban. Thank you very much for that story, Wally. Well mm. appreciated. To clarify, he is no relation to me, the man who was declared war on Islam. <laughs> that was not me. Asalaamu <laughs> Alaikum, Sheikh. Uh, just a brother here that's standing and watching us. So, you speak English? No, no. No, English. Arabia? Sui, sui. Ana al Mu'alim, English, yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. <coughs> Country America? South Africa. Ah, Africa, Mashallah. Yeah. Mashallah. So this is just a local. Alhamdulillah, we just met him now. Yeah, he is. What's uh, my smoke? Ana uh, Ali. Ali. His name is Ali. Uh, marhaban. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, that was epic. Four down. One to go. Yes. My first mask. Yeah. Oh my god, and here it is right behind and, us. And the world is still intact. <laughs> <laughs> no volcanoes or ground splitting. Yeah. Action. Oh, there's a McDonald's. Let me just show you the McDonald's quick. That's American religious place. In the middle of the highway, the train tracks. Oh, yeah. See here, this is like um, water for the birds and the cats and whatnot. This is how the Saudis do it. I'm gonna see you guys for the fifth and final masjid. So here we go. The grandest masjid in Riyadh. Let's see if you can see it. I see you. Here we go, man. Masjid al Raji. We're gonna finish our Salah challenge with the bang, inshallah. Shots over here. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at the minaret is so high. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, mashallah. This 
is big, man. Very big. She can hold 18,000 people. Yeah, that 18,000 people. Oh my god. This must be the library. Looks like a library. Talk quality. Yeah, this looks like a library. I'm not sure though. Yes. What does that say? Five out of five. Congratulations, Yusuf. Congratulations. Let's go, man. Get the nice pet in you. Thank you guys. Uh, we are done. Thank you for joining us. Alhamdulillah, five out of five done. And we ended it with a bang at the largest masjid in, in Riyadh. Yes. So till next time, guys. Peace. And keep those ideas for idea. <laughs>